breaking here at six out of Dorchester. A school bus with kids on board crashed into the side of a home. This is happening near Codman Square. Now we're told the kids are not hurt, but definitely they're shaken up. We want to get right out to WBZ's Brandon Truitt, who's live at this scene with the very latest on what happened. Brandon. Well, Lisa, David, we're here on Wentworth Street where uh, we have actually just been pushed back away from that home because at this moment they are trying to pull that bus away from the home that ultimately it ran into, as you're seeing here. Uh, they are trying to pull this backward where we understand uh, this bus has obviously gone off the street and into a home here. I want to uh, just give you some information as we just spoke with someone who saw all of this happen. A woman here tells us she was sitting just out front of her home about four homes away from this, heard the bus coming down the street, ultimately heard a screeching sound before that bus veered to the right and ran into that home. Now, the woman tells me, um, ultimately, she ran to help um, some of those kids get off the bus. She spoke with the bus driver there who kept saying the brakes weren't working, the brakes weren't working over and over again, this witness tells me. Now, again, this woman told me that she helped about eight students off the bus. We understand that these are Codman Academy. Academy elementary school students. At this point, police are telling us that they are all safe. There are no injuries from the kids. They do say that one woman is injured here. And I want to uh, give you a little bit of a taste of what that witness told us, what she saw. As I heard the screech, I looked up and I seen at the, about the greenhouse. She, that's when it was like, skirt. And then she kind of like swerved into the parked car that was there. As I looked up, that's when you see her continue keep going and then right into the house. She opened up the back door and me and another lady, she is no longer around, but we got all the kids off the bus. How were the kids when you it saw them? Very frantic. Um, a couple of the kids, they're so funny. You know, kids are very vocal, but they said, um, I'm a little traumatized. I was like, no, oh, poor thing. But yeah, a lot of them are shaking up. A lot of the kids was crying. Sometimes the kids are in better uh, mindsets than the adults here. As that witness you just heard from says, she started asking the kids for their parents' phone numbers and started reaching out to families one by one to let them know. Now, Boston Public Schools are here. They ultimately were checking uh, some of the students and then matching those students with their families. Um, ultimately, this has been a drawn out process. Now, just about five minutes before I joined you on air here, I spoke with the homeowner, the gentleman who lived in this home. He was sitting in there. When this happened, uh, that bus ultimately has hit his front porch area. It's an area he often sits. He was not there this afternoon. He was further inside his home. He is okay, shaken by all of this. There is an assessment being done once this bus is going to be removed, ultimately, uh, to the repairs that are needed for that house. We're live in Boston. Brandon Drew at WBZ News.